Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use all those updates to the model view to quickly get that data model in the shape. Stay tuned. If you're finding this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy. So there's been lots of updates to the model view and you guys know data models and the model view, that's my favorite, one of my favorite things in Power BI Desktop. In this video, I'm gonna show you why all these updates are so important and how you can use these updates to quickly whip that data model into shape. Okay, so you guys know what I like to do. Enough of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. So the first thing you want to do is go to file options and settings options and be sure to go to preview features and check the box for the new field list. Okay. And then when you go to the model view, go ahead and upgrade. Definitely upgrade now. Whew, that's nice. The first thing I notice is these little bars on top and the different colors. So what that means is I'm pulling data from two different sources. Why? Because I have two different colors here. If you want to change the colors, it's pretty easy. If you go to the report view, you can make the colors based on your theme. So if I click view here and let's choose this one and let's see what happens to the bars at the top. So they change a little slightly. So they go to purple and blue. That's great. And so now let's collapse a few things because I'm going to show you some stuff about the model view view and how I like to use it when I'm whipping my model view in the shape. So the first thing I want to show you, if you click away from everything here and expand out the properties windows, we have some options for each one of the tables here on the layout. If I hover over any card, you'll see that I get this little tool tip. If it's in direct query mode, if it's in dual mode, or if you're live connected to a data set, you'll see some additional information. If I'm in import mode, you don't get the same thing. It shows me that I'm import mode the last time it was refreshed in the name, but if I'm in dual mode, I get lots more information. Or if I'm live connected, you know, it gives me some different information. And you can see the little icons are different. So for an import, it's that icon. For a dual mode, you get these two arrows going that way. If I'm just in direct query, I don't have the database there. And if I'm live connected, I have that icon. Okay. So lots of different information by just viewing it. If I right click on the canvas, I can collapse everything. And when I collapse it, the keys automatically show up, right? So let me zoom in just a little bit here, just so we can see a little more. So you can see the keys show up. But what if I go back and expand everything? I want the keys to show up at the top. So take, for example, like promotion, I'd like for the key to show up at the top. If I go over here to my card view, I can toggle this this option pin related fields to the top of the car. And you can see now all my keys are there. If I right click and collapse, they're still there. If I right click and expand, they're still there. Nice. Also, if I toggle this show database and headers on, I can quickly see that I'm connected to this database here and I'm connected out to a live database here. In import mode, you don't get that one because Microsoft doesn't store that type of information, which is okay because the data is imported and it's local to this model anyway. So I'm looking at this model and I can see by the dashed lines that this is dual mode. By the solid line, this is direct query. The same thing with this solid line. And over here, I'm imported. And I take a look and I go, well, customer is, oh, I can easily tell that customer is direct query by the solid line. And if I click it, all I need to do is go to advance and now I can import it. Boof. And it's telling me, hey, we need to do some other stuff. And I'm like, okay, so you want to make it dual. That makes sense. Okay. I don't want import. I want dual because I have this composite model that I'm building and I need this table to behave as a direct query or an import, just depending on how I'm using it in my visualization. So now just by looking at it, I can see that is definitely in dual mode. Now you may notice something else because I'm going cross source because I'm going from this data set, which is a uh, a dual mode to a live connected, you may notice these little different icons here like this, these two little circles on the end, a semicircle. And so that's letting me know that this is a limited relationship. Before you had no idea to know what a limited relationship was in your model, but basically it's limited in the sense that there are some restrictions around RLS and you can't use a related DAX function, right? There may be some additional limitations. You should go check a look at the documentation, but there's some little icons here that tell me, hey, this is one to many just more pronounced things in the model. I'm liking it, I'm digging this. Other things that I like to do that'll make this really quick 
I like the little eye icon that they put right here. So if I wanted to hide a table, so let's say example, for example, I want to hide the subcategory in the category table. I can click the little icon on that one and then click the little icon on that one and both, boom, both of them are hidden, not hidden. That's cool. But I can right click also and say unhide them because it's going to quickly unhide those for me. If I wanted to do this a little faster, a little faster, I can go into the field list and choose category choose subcategory, watch this, right? Before I would have to expand out properties and toggle it here, or I can right click here and choose item report view. But now when I multi-select both of them using control, I can just watch this, boom. I've hidden both of them. The same thing goes for columns inside of a table. So I have a customer name column here, so I don't need the first name. Then I'll hold down control. Now, all I need to do is boom. I've just hidden all the columns. What do you guys think, right? So fast, so efficient, just I'm saving so many clicks with all these updates, but I got a few more things I wanna show you. Let me show you. I wanna create a measures table. So I have a measure over here that I've created on total sales and I need to hide all the columns, everything that's not a measure. Watch this, I'm gonna right click here. I'm gonna say, select columns, boom. All of them are selected and I'm just gonna click the eye. Boom, all those columns are hit it. It automatically moved this up to a measures table. Before you'd have to expand and collapse the fields list. Now it just handles it for me. This brings me to the very last, my most favorite feature. If you click back here in the report view, you guys remember, I used to complain about this, but if I wanted to find out which columns had summarization turned on if it was an implicit measure you'd have to go to the report view then go back to the model view and check it out but now look at this right in the model view it's they're letting me know hey we have some implicit measures here these have default summarization turned on before i'd have to toggle back and forth now all i need to do i can go right in the model view hold down control because i can easily see that they're all here expand out the properties window Let's collapse general and formatting, expand advanced, go to summarize by, choose none. This way it's more efficient. I don't have to toggle back and forth. I can see it all directly in the model view. These updates, oh, they just been pouring at me and pouring at me and I've just been waiting until I can get a good collection to do this video. What do you guys think? Are you using all these updates in the model view? Have you upgraded your model view and checked out all these different features and capabilities? I'd love to know, right? What's your favorite feature? I'd love to know. You guys know what to do. Let's continue the conversation where in the comments below if it's your first time visiting a guy in a cute channel hit that subscribe button if you like my video give me a big thumbs up as always from adam and myself thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video